Hey guys, it's Dallas with Nexus 5 Soft Modder, and today we're going to show you how to install the Blink Feed launcher from the all-new HTC One on your Nexus 5. Now this particular soft mod requires a zip that you flash in custom recovery. So for download links, as well as a more complete guide, head on over to the link in the description just below this video. But let's get started by booting our Nexus 5 into our custom recovery. I'm using TWRP myself, so all you need to do with this one is tap install, then find the file, and swipe this bottom graphic to initiate the install process. And once that's complete, go ahead and tap Reboot System. Now that we're back up, when you unlock your device, you'll notice a dialog right off the bat, asking you to select a home app. The obvious choice here is HTC Blink Feed, so hit that, and then tap Always. This will bring you into the Blink Feed launcher itself, where a little bit of setup is warranted. Right off the bat, you can see two different options, one to add social network feeds, and another to add news feeds. We'll try out the news feeds, and in here we'll pick a new service to subscribe to. Once you hit this button at the top right here, you'll see subscribe to Associated Press in a toast message. So we can back out now to the main Blink Feed screen and see it refresh itself. And then there's a slide out menu on this side where you can see your different feeds and access additional options. From here we'll head into Services and Apps where there's a restaurant recommendation option that you can tick that uses Foursquare. There's also a Twitter option that asks you for permission to access your account. And once you've added Twitter, if you back out to the main screen, you'll see it refresh to add the new content. Delving a little further into these additional options, we'll find settings, where you can do things like change the auto refresh method, enable offline news reading, or pick the topics that'll show up in your highlights section. And the Blink Feed Launcher is not only just this feed, there are also several other pages where you can add apps and widgets, just like most other launchers. One thing you may notice, though, is if you are adding app icons to your home screen, there's a little bit of overlap down here at the bottom between the dock and the home screen icons. But if we check out the app drawer, we'll find even more options. You can do things like rearranging apps by dragging and dropping the icons in the order that you prefer them. And then hitting this check button at the top right. You can also hide apps from the drawer by going into this menu and then ticking the box next to any apps you don't wish to see. There's even an option for grid size where you can change it to 3x4 or even to 5x6. And folders can be created on the home screen by dragging an icon on top of another if you can catch it. And then the folders are even nameable if you so choose. Then long pressing the desktop allows you to change wallpaper, add widgets, or even manage the home screen pages. But the main feature here is obviously this Blink Feed section, which you can customize with all of your favorite feeds and services. So again, to get this launcher with download links and a more complete guide, head on over to the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, guys. But until then, happy soft modding.